So uh, today we're going to look at something from a company called Sanho, right? It's Sanho, A-S-S-A-N-H-O, I think. Uh, and the product, the, all their products, by the way, start with the word hyper. So this is the Hyperdrive Gen 2 Thunderbolt 3 Dock. That's a bit of a mouthful, but stick around and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Ever since I got my new iMac, the 2020, I've been concerned with the number of ports that I have. All right, now I have a MacBook Pro, which has four Thunderbolt uh, 3 ports, and then the iMac only has two. Just like the previous version, only had two of the previous generation ports. They only have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and the new M1 Macs, they all only have two ports. Now, that bothers me. It bothers me a lot because if you want to put in a second display, for example, you're using up one port. But if you're someone who, like me who wants to do video editing on a high-speed external drive, you're using up another port, especially since you want the fastest possible drive for your video files because that's really where all the speed is, is necessary. At the very least, you want to have a USB Gen 2, which is 10 gigabits, which is twice the speed of the previous generation. But ideally, you want to have Thunderbolt 3 ports so you could use the high-speed NVMe drives, which are like 3,000 megabits per second. They're really ridiculously fast. But most of the docks that I've seen and the, the expansion things, all they really do is you plug them in, and then coming out the other end, they'll say, hey, now you have three USB ports, which I don't need. I want, I want USB that's fast. I want Thunderbolt that's ridiculously fast. And that's exactly what this Hyperdrive Gen 2 Thunderbolt 3 dock does. First and foremost, the most important thing, the most important reason I wanted this is that you don't lose your, your port. So if you're putting on a monitor, you don't lose the port to put the monitor on. You can you do a pass through. So going in one side to your Mac is the uh, Thunderbolt in, but then you have a Thunderbolt out of the same speed. So right off the bat, if you only have two ports and you plug this thing in, you still have two ports because you can now daisy chain them. And they allow, according to the specs, up to six of them to be daisy chained. All right, six of them. So you 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 know this is two hundred bucks, I think. So for that price, you, you now have no fear of losing out on your ports. Now, the other thing that's really great about this, and I might as well also mention, by the way, this giant power supply that comes with it. And some might call that a bad thing, but it's, it's, it's meant to be stationary. It's a dock. This is 180 watts, which means that all of the ports on here, including the front ones, which I'll talk about in a minute, all of the ports here have plenty of power. The last thing you want to do is, is have something that's a passive device like some of these passive docks and hubs where you plug them in and they don't have enough power to power your external hard drives and whatnot this does 180 watts it's spread out we'll talk about how and why in a minute so anyhow you plug this thing in and right off the bat in the front i'm gonna flip that around in the front of the uh dock right you have uh, first of all, a, a micro SD and a regular SD, which is just a convenience feature. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right place. There it is. Yep, I'm pointing in the right place. So that's a nice, cool feature, especially if you have an iMac, you hate reaching around the back. And of course, if you have a MacBook, you, you don't have a, a micro or a regular SD port anymore. It, they don't exist. So you, it's kind of a convenience. So you, you do that. It's nice and heavy, by the way. Very stationary. You want to put this on your desk. It's not going to slide around. All right, here's the big, big, big reason why I love this one, as opposed to some of the other docks and stuff that I've bought over the last few months. All right, so in addition to that, you have USB-A, uh, USB-A, and USB-C, right, at full 10 gigabits Gen 2 speeds. Now, I can't tell you how frustrating it is to look at all these other docks and see that they give you USB-A or C, but they're at 5 gigabits. I mean, that's a joke to me. That's an insult. It's like they're not even disclosing the fact that they're Gen 1. And Gen 1 is 5 gigabits and Gen 2 is 10. So if you're using external hard drives, or even a serial ATA drive, you want the fastest port you can get. I mean, there's not a lot of difference in the speed if you're using, let's say, a, a serial ATA one. But even then, that little extra helps. But when you jump to the NVMe or the other high-speed technologies like that, that it's going to make a huge difference. You will literally get twice the speed on your external hard drive by using a 10 gigabit uh, device. And there are a lot of USB Gen 2 uh, 
devices out there, especially the NVMe types. There are tons of them. So that's right there in the front. And to me, even if it had nothing but this, I'd buy it. It just by itself. Oh, and by the way, it has a headset jack, so you could use it as just a convenient way to, to have a headset uh, that's closer to you if, if you're if you want to reach around the back of your computer. So it's that's a convenient thing. Now, also in the back, they have three more. Oh, and by the way, there's one more USB port in the front. That one's not for data, so it's not at any particular speed, but it is a QC or Quick Charge 3.0, which according to the QC 3.0 specs. Uh, and I'm going to need my glasses to read the uh, uh, specs. That means it can do 2 volts, 3 volts, 5 volts, 9 volts, and 12 volts. So it, it will power things that know how to use the, Q, uh, the QC 3.0 standard. So a lot of uh, new iPhone and other uh, devices, they handle a, a quick charge, a QC. So you can get that quick power right there in the front of your dock. Now, in the back, to round it out, they do give you three more USB ports, but these, at least, they're disclosing are 5 gigabits. So when you have a device that doesn't need the 10 gigabits, you use the ports in the back. To me, I'll be using those very infrequently because most of my drives are going to need to be at the full speed, so I'm going to use either the USB-A or the C in the front. Now, also in the back, and this is super, super important, I brought it up before, is the US, excuse me, USB-C Thunderbolt 3 pass-through, which is at 40 gigabits. So again, you could do a pass-through here to either another hub, or in many cases, you're going to maybe plug in a, uh, excuse me, a monitor. You could use that for another display, and they also have a display port jack so you could use that also as another display so technically if you did that you'd have your built-in display and then two others you can get three displays out of it but that's i'm i don't really need three displays it's not the thing i'd use the thunderbolt as a pass-through so i'd know that i could plug another high-speed device there are a lot of like sabrent makes some great uh, uh thunderbolt 3 external drive enclosures so you can get the full speed out of a an nvme drive uh, and again, rounding it out one more time is a Ethernet jack for those who want a, uh, the reliability of a wire on their MacBook. Uh, of course, not useful on an iMac or he has a jack. And then you have two audio outputs that are optical and coaxial. And I don't really need those, but it's kind of a cool thing to have. Uh, so, so that rounds out the uh, Hyper, called the HyperDrive Gen 2. This is exactly why I love this thing. Now, I don't, I don't earn any money from people clicking or anything like that. Um, but I just thought I'd share this with you. I'm very excited about it because I really had a hard time finding a dock that, that A, gave me the pass-through, and B, gave me the full Gen 2 specs on at least several ports. In this case, three. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Uh, great for my workflow. Hopefully you found this uh, review and overview helpful. Um, usual uh, Easter eggs to follow and all that stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for more stuff on my channel. I'm just starting to grow faster than I ever believed. Thank you all for uh, helping me do that. Uh, see you next time. So what do you do for a living? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really do. I, I, I'm, I'm interested in things like that. You know, what you do for a living, how you spend your day, you know, what you like, what you don't like, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Me? Um, not much, really. I'm, uh, I talk on the phone a lot. Nice. All right. Let's try having a a shorter version of it just just for the sake of in case something went wrong with the first one i got a second one I can fall back on it All right here we are hey so uh today we're gonna look at something from a company called sanho i'm a company called sanho also known as hyper so all their products start with hyper hyper juice is a great charger i should do a review on that at some point uh and this one is called the hyper drive it's called the actually the hyper drive gen 3 no uh, I can't say it right now. I gotta start over again. <laughs>